Although redesigned, the sales of the Pathfinder are not meeting expectations, so something else is to be done. Such family SUVs require an optimal combination of space, power, and efficiency. The fuel economy of the current Pathfinder is its Achilles' heel, holding it back from greatness. Nissan realized that and the company is ready for serious changes that will catapult the Pathfinder to the pinnacle of the midsize SUV class. Under the bonnet of the Nissan Pathfinder lies a trusty V6 engine, a reliable companion for many years. This powertrain generates 285 horsepower and 259 pound-feet of torque, paired with a CVT gearbox. Thanks to the latest redesign, which shed some weight, the Pathfinder now drives more like a car. You can even boost outputs to 295 ponies and 270 pound-feet with the Rock Creek Edition. Although the Pathfinder is rated at 23 miles per gallon combined, owners report lower actual mileage, which negatively impacts sales. Just for a comparison, the new Toyota Highlander can do 35 miles per gallon, Kia Sorento 36, Ford Explorer 27. How these SUVs do so much better? The answer is not a secret. They all feature a hybrid system. Well, Toyota, Kia, and a few other car makers downsized engines before they installed electric support. That is something we expect from Nissan in the near future. The evolution has already begun with the premium Infiniti QX80 full-size SUV, where a twin-turbo setup replaced a V8. The all-new Armada will follow the path, and then the manufacturer will shift focus to smaller vehicles, replacing V6 units with turbocharged four-bangers. V6 is an engine to rely on, but the company needs to fix the main issue, gas mileage. There are two solutions. First, engineers can enhance the current drivetrain with electric batteries, creating a more efficient hybrid. The 2025 Pathfinder with such a setup can get a power boost as well, while achieving better consumption rates. Still, miracles are not possible, and the peak could be around 27 or 28 miles per gallon. To make it even more fuel-friendly, a four-cylinder engine is required. Just take a look at Toyota Highlander, where the company gave up a lot of power, but everyone is talking about 35 miles per gallon. Well, this trade-off is a double-edged sword considering the praise Pathfinder owners have for its car-like handling. New Turbo 4 engines can match power outputs, but due to the size and weight of three-row SUVs, a hybrid setup is essential to reach the 30 mpg mark. The current Pathfinder from 2021 still shows a fresh and modern styling. However, a minor facelift is already on the horizon. This revisit is expected to update the design and enhance features, ensuring the 2025 Nissan Pathfinder remains competitive in the mid-size SUV segment. In China, there's a special version of the vehicle with unique styling and features made for the local market. However, Nissan has no plans to bring this specific design to the United States. Instead, the U.S. version will retain its distinctive look, focusing on the preferences and needs of American consumers. The mid-cycle update of the 2025 Pathfinder brings several exciting enhancements aimed at improving performance, comfort, and technology. Refreshed model features advanced driver assistance and an upgraded interior with more space and convenience features. Minor exterior updates include tweaks to the headlights, taillights, and tailpipes. The SUV is very competitive. The company can show off excellent sale numbers, but the Pathfinder still lags behind the top models in the class. Hybrid engine is a major upgrade that can help the vehicle achieve over 100,000 sales next year, putting it to the same league with Kia Telluride, Hyundai Palisade, Honda Pilot. The base price is around $37,000, four-wheel drive costs $1,900. Premium Pathfinder Platinum will be above fifty dollars while the off-road-oriented Rock Creek can be purchased for forty-five. dollars The SL trim is a favorite choice for its excellent balance between price and features. 